wedging, we're going to have to get certified. And getting certified means... Whoa! Maybe we could use this for acorn dredging. Uh, I don't know, Landry. That looks like a flyer. We might be able to scoop up some acorns from the treetops, though. I'm so on it. Wow, you actually look like you know how to control this one. Yeah, I've been around these Nexo Night sets long enough to really get the idea. Check this out. <laughs> this is so awesome. We're going to get all the acorns from the park this year. And not just the ones from the little trees, but the ones from the big trees. On the table, Lego Nexo Knights, set number 70361, Macy's Bot Drop Dragon. 153 pieces, with three minifigures including one Nexo Power. On the back of the box, the contents of this set and what it can do. That's either a Bot Drop Dragon or a chicken. Inside the package, one small booklet of instructions. This would be your largest bag of pieces, your second largest bag of pieces, and your third most largest bag of pieces, also known as small bag of pieces, and a few stickers. Let's drop this bot dragon, Macy. That was a fast build, Macy's Bot Drop Dragon. How's it going, Macy? It's good, once I figure out how to bot drop this thing. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. So again, a really quick build, much faster than some of the construction sets I've been working on lately. Kind of a nice break. We have Macy riding the back of the dragon here with her shield and mace securely attached in the back there. Rotating wing arms. I think they're backwards right now, actually. I think they're supposed to go this way. There we go. And each of them has a little stud launcher on the back of them. Wow, that thing went everywhere. The dragon has a few points of articulation. We have a tail with a few ball joints on it. Looks like two, and then a hinge here for the shield 
to give the tail a little extra reach. The arms here can move in and out, and it looks like we could rotate, of course. And the head up here is on a nice little armature thing, and you can rotate that up and down. And even the head itself can kind of look upside down at Macy. That's weird. And we have some legs on the bottom on ball joints. Looks like the ankles are on ball joints and even the hips are on ball joints. So there's some movement here. So pretty good movement overall for a small set. Looks like the bot drop has already dropped the bot. We could pop the bot back onto the bot drop thing. And so there we go. So when Macy wants to bot drop her bot of drop, she uh, probably presses the right controls or lets her bot to drop whenever it's ready to go and just simply detach down here. And the Macy bot may now fly around on its detachable flyer. I like this Macy bot, by the way, with the little fire plume helmet and a cool mace weapon. Nice little feature. Let me help you up, my lady. Call me my lady one more time and I'll mace you. Yeah, I believe it. The construction set also comes with a stone stomper on a little small flappy winged sky sled of sorts and a little stud launcher too, one of those flat stud launchers. Always nice to have a bad guy included for small time play. So now we have to figure out if Macy's bot drop dragon combines with a battle suit in any way. Let's bring out Macy's battle suit. Hey Macy, you're in two places at once. And it looks like to attach, maybe, we're going to stand up the dragon a little bit, exposing those connector points for all the battle suits, and maybe rotate these arms around like so. Probably take Macy off the back. She can't really be riding the back of the bot drop dragon and be commanding it. Oh, and one of its horns fell off. And now we can see if we can attach. There we go. What do we do with these legs? I think we're just gonna fold these legs back. There's nothing really in the instructions that say where they go. I'm assuming they just fold back. And then we're gonna take the headpiece of the dragon and fold it down over her chest plate. I had removed this Macy's plumage. I should put it on. I usually don't like it because it falls off so easily. I wish it could attach better. And probably it looks like these kind of come up high for some better firing angles. And this tail back here, I think I'll just leave it down as a stability. A uh, third leg of sorts because she's definitely gonna fall over without that. I think that's gonna help a lot with stability So here we are combined with the battle suit the bot drop dragon. That's a really nice combo Looks like if you want a better view of Macy's head we can stand her up as well in the battle suit Now she's a little taller inside So you can always go with that position as well definitely worth the wait. I've been kind of holding off on this set for a while now and finally got a chance to take a look at this thing and it's really quite spectacular. You probably want to flip this up too actually. That's kind of how it has it in the photo. Nice looking armament. The instructions also have her merged with Axel's rumble maker tank part. Let's check that out real quick while we're here. Bringing out the rumble maker Remember on the back of this thing is that really cool tank piece. Detach. Have fun, Axel. And there we have the battle suit Macy on the cool treaded tank. One of my favorite battle suit combos. But doesn't really necessarily use anything of the bot drop dragon. It must be a Macy day, I suppose. And reattaching the bot drop, and then again. And there again, Macy back on her dragon. Oh, I need to put this plumage back over here. And there we go. Lots of things going on today. 
As for the bot drop, pretty good small size toy. I think the only thing that is kind of missing is the ability to, say, fly around, press a button and let it release the bot drop without you having to take it and manually pulling it off. That's kind of a bummer to just yank that off. I'd rather have a button to have the, you know, the bot drop to do that. But that's not the biggest deal in the world. Cool looking dragon for Macy to fly around. It's nice seeing a dragon vehicle design versus a just a vehicle based off a weapon. Something a little bit different for the Nexo Knight universe. I do really like how they include bots with all their sets. At any size Nexo Knight set, you always have something really entertaining to play with. Lego Nexo Knights Macy's Bot Drop Dragon appeared on store shelves back on August 1st, 2017. It runs a reasonable price of about 15. If you are a fan of the great Princess Nexo Knight Macy, the Bot Drop Dragon set is for you. However, if you're looking for someone who makes more crazy damage, Axel's Rumble Maker can do that too. Just make sure to feed that dragon lots of dragon bites and your return for adventure will be full. That's what I have to say about that. If dragon bites taste anything like squirrel bites, we are in for a treat. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Now where did that squirrel go? <laughs> Darn, I missed! Don't worry, Macy, I'll get that squirrel. So no!